a quick thought. I've just seen, well, there's a couple over there hugging. Oh, he's got his arm around her, and it just prompted this thought. Uh, and I think it prompted this thought because she's pretty overweight. And the thought was like, if you get in a relationship, is it going to pull you down because you get comfortable? Uh, I think one of my fears of getting into a relationship would be that it would restrict me, that I'd stop pushing as hard because I think, you know, well, well our biological imperative is to fuck, survive and reproduce. And if we have a partner then, and we're pretty healthy, then you know, I'm not worried about breaking up or whatever. Then yeah, that criteria is kind of satisfied to a degree and I'm probably not trying to improve myself as much because I think the underlying principle of self-improvement is to um, attract the, the best mate we can. And, uh, uh, and when you attract that mate and you impregnate her, you fuck and you get a kiddie winkle, then you don't need to, you can kind of ah, relax a bit, you know, and take your foot off the gas off the accelerator, not the gas, fuck the gas. Um, but, uh, the way I think, I guess, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but if you get a, maybe there's a, another imperative, like, I don't know, an, an existential imperative, if that's a thing, if that even works, um, of just self-realising maybe we're here not just to survive and reproduce but maybe we have a more human imperative goal mission purpose to self-realize and fulfill our potential and maybe if we maybe if we find a decent partner they rather than sort of like you know you're both sort of growing 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 you meet and then you're like mm. you just sort of, sort of plateau together or you start deteriorating you both be like ah you know let's have the ice cream ah, yeah let's watch five hours of game of thrones yeah let's let's start a joint only fans account which yes i see as a negative thing to do not a positive liberating thing to do no no no, no. Anyway, let's not get into that right now. Uh, but yeah, if you find the right partner, then yeah, they can help bolster you and really, really push you up. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it, because maybe we have this thing where we want to self-realize. But I think so many people kind of are inclined to relax and it just be a bit lenient. And especially when you're living with that person with, you, with whom you're romantically involved, um, that affects how you see yourself in the world. And you start saying, yeah, I will go for a beer every night. You know, I mean, I should have gone now, probably. I mean, I'm doing these videos now and I might read before I get on my bike again and I'm having a lovely bike ride. Um, and I'll get home and might do some coding. So maybe it will be more fruitful. But yes, I see it's very individualistic that I don't want to associate with people because I want to do personal work. But yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, you find somebody and they can just bolster you up because they also want to self-realise and I think there are very few people like that and it takes a very long time and a lot of vetting, a lot of filtering through, you know, unworthwhile potential relationship partners. It takes a lot of filtering and going through before you find one with to whom you can commit um, you know to be in a relationship with and I think it probably is worthwhile to have very high standards as regards relationships otherwise you're probably subtracting experience and peace and satisfaction from your life for the sake of getting into a relationship and feeling comfortable uh, more temporarily because in the long run if you're with a very pos positive partner they're going to help increase your life satisfaction yeah that's that thought uh, I guess another thing is that I don't know if I've said before about living in Norway and this cabin life well the idea is to do it with a guy called Elbow and it sounds gay because if I'm just living with a guy in a cabin 
Or sounds like like pretty pretty gay, bro. Um, it does. And I think I said sent a message or I wrote in my journal last night something about like how we can help bolster each other's lives and criticize each other in a healthy way and help each other improve and help guide each other toward that which we're naturally curious about and all this stuff which sounds like you know proper jerk off shit and it sounds like what you'd want in a very healthy romantic relationship however so what I guess really like if you can have that with a friend I think that's one of the the I think that's just a reflection of an incredibly deep uh, profound that's deep a, you know an incredibly deep and healthy friendship um, just you know not relationship because it'll be a romantic um, rather than having a friendship which is just you know shooting the shit at the weekend and having a laugh about things and you know that's cool but I think it's a more genuine relationship, a more genuine friend, or yeah, it is a relationship, a more genuine friendship slash relationship, a romantic. If you're helping each other grow and develop and experience new things and you're doing it together, so that's further deepening the friendship. Um, so yeah, I think there can be profound depth in friendship, and I believe that a lot of things you do with other people yeah much more enjoyable and satisfi satisfying and fulfilling than if you do them alone it's just that I've done so much alone I don't know exactly why that's a, probably a long thing to talk about um, but yeah I hope to do it with Elbow and I think it has the potential to be incredibly satisfying given we both are in a positive frame of mind because living with my housemate currently we're both living with, with each other in more of a negative frame of mind and we are I'd say I'm a better communicator than he is a lot of the time I have to prod or try to draw things out of him sometimes if I feel there's tension or whatever um, he'll a lot of the time be a bit more passive and I think that's a great pro that I have a great positive that I'm I believe I'm pretty good at communicating if somebody's not happy with me or whatever I would just bring it up I can just bring it up straight and I think Elliot is the same and I've known him long enough that this two-way communication basis is potentially uh, incredibly auspicious or very conducive to a very fruitful friendship wherein we can both develop ourselves to a great extent and we'll be doing it in an environment potentially which is liberating or liberated middle of nowhere in Norway and we can version um, I don't know where I was going with this I don't know how I even started this conversation but that's how most of these go maybe I'll leave this one unlisted uh, yeah cool <laughs>